I'm Jen from Skyscanner and I'm here to talk to you about passport price increases. So from March 27th, unfortunately they're going up in price. So if you're doing it online, it will cost you an extra three pounds. Should you choose to do it via post, it will cost you an additional 12 pound 50. Now this will affect all passports so we're talking renewals we're talking brand new ones as well as kids should you be one of these lovely lucky people who gets to travel the world you'll be pleased to know that the bumper edition with 16 pages doesn't go up in price there's a few other services which this will affect as well so if you choose to get your one day passport service for example the price will jump up from 128 pounds to 177 if you have a little bit more time to play with and you leave it for the week service, that price will jump from £103 to £842. So can you beat this price increase? Yes, yeah, you can. Um, you just need to make sure you do it before March 27th um, and any additional time up until the maximum of nine months uh, will roll over onto your brand new passport. So for example, if you have a passport that doesn't expire until November, but want to lock in the lower prices, make sure you renew it for the 27th and then your passport won't expire until November 2028. So in summary, if you want to get the lower rate for your passport renewal, make sure you do it before the 27th of March to lock in that lower rate, as well as doing it online through gov.uk's website. It's very important that you make sure you do it through that. Uh, the rest of the websites probably aren't that safe or legal. My hair is everywhere.